Hi everyone, John Osipinski here. I just posted something for those who smoke marijuana. And again, I believe in the benefits of marijuana. A research has found that marijuana users have a threefold higher risk of dying from hypertension. And hypertension is high blood pressure, which can manifest into heart disease and many other problems if left unchecked. So what I believe is happening is that when we smoke wet marijuana, whether we vape or we light up, we are inhaling CO2, carbon dioxide. It goes right into our lungs, right into your heart, right out into the rest of the body. So I believe our body is becoming more acidic from that CO2 because when CO2 interacts with fluid or water, uh, it interacts with the oxygen and it makes carbonic acid and carbonic acid in our body tightens us. And one way to remove carbonic acid is through our lungs. Every time we take a deep breath, we remove carbonic acid into CO2 and water. So deep breathing can really help you. So my thing is not to tell you, hey, stop smoking pot. My thing is that if you're getting benefit from smoking pot, if you're getting relaxation from smoking pot, then you have to balance it. And it's not just pot that we have to balance. If you drink coffee, if you have a couple of alcoholic beverages at night, if you take medications, many medications have been shown to uh, deplete magnesium in the body. So they're making us acidic. So it's not just marijuana, it's really everything we do we have to balance, but we have to balance our marijuana use. So a simple thing is by taking more magnesium. Again, when we're smoking, we get more acidic. So by taking more magnesium, we can actually help balance our body. Eating more fruits and vegetables. You know, when you get the munchies, don't reach for whatever may be convenient. Maybe have a cucumber, a celery, put a little sea salt on that cucumber. We have to stop putting in things into our body that are more alkaline if we want to put things into our body like marijuana or alcohol, even soda, or even if you have a thing about having a lot of cupcakes or eating bread all day long. We have to balance everything. So besides magnesium, you can actually take Epsom salt baths uh, with baking soda. I like to put two cups of Epsom salt and two cups of baking soda in a bath, not too hot at first, and you soak for 20 minutes to a half hour. If you're really sick and you're overwhelmed and you feel you're very toxic, maybe soak your feet in a nice uh, little bucket or uh, some type of container where you can get water up to about your sock level. And I put about a third of a cup of baking soda and a third of a cup of Epsom salt and I soak my feet daily for five to ten minutes and I take an Epsom salt bath once a week. These are the things we have to do if you want to continue making yourself toxic. And again, I don't mean to say, oh, you're making yourself toxic and it's a bad thing. We have to get the idea that when we smoke cigarettes or marijuana or cigars, we are putting CO2 in our body and that makes us toxic. So if we want to use and do it, you know, with a clear conscious, we have to learn how to balance ourselves. So more fruits and vegetables, Epsom salt baths, magnesium. Go for a walk. When you move your blood a little bit, you move that waste through your system and you become more alkaline. So it really is the idea of just having the understanding that if we smoke pot, we're gonna become acidic that can add to our pain or stress or chronic spasms that we may be having or even depression and we don't want that. So again, I see marijuana, I've seen clients come to me with severe pain after surgery, they're on five to ten medications for pain and seizures and I suggest to them after a few weeks of not seeing them get better, I suggest to them go get a marijuana license and by the time they do that two or three weeks later they're off the medications or on less of them and you can see their health starting to come back otherwise when they're on all those medications they're just declining i see it in people all the time so if you have 
Uh, if you're smoking marijuana, whether you're doing it for medicinal reasons or for recreational, we have to learn to balance it and then your life gets better. But if we just smoke and don't understand that it's making us toxic, we're making ourselves sick. So again, smoke responsibly, just like we need to drink responsibly and balance. If you have any questions on how to balance your marijuana use so that you can heal and get better and be able to control your pain or stress, uh, contact me at osipinskihealthacademy.com. You can also get there at lymphman, L-Y-M-P-H-M-A-N.com. Look forward to speaking with you.